mukbang, a mukbangin, mukbang, a mukbangin, mukbang, a we hangin, we bang, a we bangin. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today I'm having an all raw burrito bowl. Happy Taco Tuesday. I know it's Wednesday for y'all, but it's Tuesday for us. So I have um, cauliflower rice. I have beans, black beans, corn, guacamole, pico de gallo, lettuce, um, cilantro, and I think that's it. Yeah, and I have some limes right here. And I have some water, some flavored water. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Mm. Mm hmm. Delicious. It's the um, fruit punch flavor, y'all. And Murder Show <clears throat> has Arby's, y'all. He's trying that burger for y'all. It's called the Bacon Ranch Wagyu Steakhouse Burger. And y'all. Tell him. <laughs> You know, like I always complain about, you know, why you can't, if all you got to do is build a hamburger, like you should be a master <laughs> and building a hamburger and following an order. Especially when the joker pay an arm and a leg for, you know, get an extra patty. Where's when the I tell extra you patty, almost bro? $40 just for this burger, these fries, that drink, and this apple, what is this? Apple turnover fritter. It, it kind of looks good. Though. I mean, it's the cherry. Apple. Oh, really? Ooh, cherry. Y'all look at this. Cause y'all can't see it way back there. That's what it looked like. How you forget a Joker's patty? Yeah, he he added an extra patty and they didn't give it to him. So. Yeah, so I got the I got the bacon ranch uh, minus ranch because I don't do ranch. Yeah. And a uh, minus cheese. So yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it tastes like. We don't do cheese either. Something, but it's the wagyu beef that I think you need to try. Yeah. Yeah. And then he has bacon on there too. Are you ready to? And uh, what I'm drinking on? What is that? Some orange Kool-Aid. Yeah, some orange Kool-Aid. And what we got from over there? The lemonade, huh? Oh, yeah. Lemonade, y'all. Yeah. It don't look like it's... like no, it's it looked good, like though. it came... Is it good? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to ask God to bless this food as we give thanks. Amen. Amen. All right. Oh, let me squeeze some of this lime juice on here. Y'all, I hope this is good. Oh. Okay. Oh Lord, please let it be good, Jesus. Mmm. Oh, I got some um vegan sour cream on here too. Take another yeah. bite. It's small. Look how small it is. Yeah, I know. I see. You know what I'm saying? It looked huge on the picture. Is the meat seasoned? Y'all, this is day two of the raw vegetables and raw um, fruits challenge. Y'all, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this because y'all, I saw that Taco Bell then came out with the... um. What was it? The the cheddar chalupa, the the um grill. Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about, and I want to try it so bad. I mean, I already tried it, but I want it, okay? Cause it's good. So I got jalapenos on here. I ordered them. I don't. I think they're on here. I found them. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. the heat I'm tasting. I don't know if the. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah. I mean, I got jalapenos on. You know, it's all right. I definitely recommend you get you a mm. double patty. But don't order it off Uber Eats. God damn, that don't make no sense. No. <laughs> it was 
$42. Like some stuff be cheap. Like when I have ordered a, a burger from um From where? BJ's. Mm-hmm. It's no delivery fee. And it's the same price for the burger as it is in the place. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like be like twenty. You gotta pop, you gotta buy, buy um you gotta buy. You gotta um pay taxes and the tip. Yeah, I mean, but that's understood. Taxes ain't nothing, you know, that's understood. The tip, that's whatever you tip. But it's not like, you know, for example, Popeye's charging $17.77 for a three-piece. Now, in Popeye's defense, the order was made on, um, what was it, Uber Eats? Yeah. When Popeye's has their own delivery service and it's free. I don't know if y'all know that. And they charge it a regular price. Like, mm -hmm. that's so unethical to me to charge somebody a different price for the same item just because they ordering it through an ordering service. Now, I think they do. Now, I don't, I'm not real sure. But it seemed like it was the same prices. You know, because you still got to pay for the fees through the ordering service and all that. Mm -hmm. Still got the delivery fee, the service fee, the administration fee or whatever, then a tip. And you charging Ten dollars more for the for the same meal. Like I, that's right there is the way. Who's getting that money? You know, is it DoorDash? No, no. Is it the establishment? How that is? You know, it probably is DoorDash because they're hosting. You know what I'm saying? They're hosting these people's business, so hmm. they got to make some money too. That's why we just figured it out, y'all. <laughs> It shouldn't mm. be so greedy because in the, in the end, all they do is drive people away. Mm -hmm. You might look them one or two times, but then they're going to stop, even all and all to go. Right. The beans in this, they act like meat for me. It's so good, y'all. I'm shocked. Excuse me. Delicious. Oh, y'all. Wait a minute. I saw this. Um. What? I have it. You want it? What? I saw this clip on TikTok about, you know, the Uvalde um, shooting and the teacher that lost all his students. Y'all, I didn't even know it happened like that. The, um, the shooter went into um, like one of the classes and took out everybody, y'all, except for the teacher. I'm trying to figure out how did the teacher survive? Because look, this. The teacher must not have been in the class. He had to be in the class. Why would the students be in there by themselves? He was at the he went to the bathroom or chit chat next door or something. You know how they do? Oh yeah. But I don't think so. Hold up. So this is him. the shooter killed every single student in your classroom. Yes, ma'am. That's when I got to thinking, you know. This family lost one. This family lost one. I lost 11 that day, and I do went to my parents and said, I'm sorry, I tried my best. It's okay, he has a lot of guilt. I was told to do. Please don't be angry with me. How many? That's so sad. Can you imagine the kind of stress he's under? Like, he survived and all the, none of the kids did in his class. I got to think that he wasn't in there. No way he was in there and survived. It's, no way. Like, I don't understand that either. I guess we need to find out that part. We don't need part. some details on that. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, he said he tried his best. So, I mean, I don't know. 
Touch your best. Mm, you never know unless you're in like, that we'll, situation. Like you can't. What? You really can't touch nobody. Really, honestly, I feel. That's how I feel because. Unless you're in something like that, you don't know what you would do. You can say what you would do all day long, but you really don't know. You really don't know. You know? You don't know what you would have the strength to do or not to do. I don't think he was in there. Gunner would have killed him for sure. I can't say if he was in there or not, because I wasn't there. I mean, I don't know. I wish he would have asked that. But that was just a part of the interview, though. But yeah, y'all. Um, And then, this other guy, I know we didn't talk about this. Me and Mercer talked about it yesterday. I do believe. Um, This guy named Trouble passed away, y'all. Because he was talking to somebody else, a uh, girlfriend. And I heard that um, the dude came like and broke into her uh, apartment. And they said that he was trying to fight her and Trouble was trying to... Allegedly, y'all, Trouble was trying to take up for her and he... That's why he shot him. Mm. So... Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. Did y'all hear about that? Like, it's... And then, what is his name? Mama, uh, died? And I don't have no details on that, though. But I just know. What's what's his name? Metro Bowen? Yeah. His mama died, y'all. At the hands of her husband. And that wasn't Metro Bowen's daddy, either. It was his stepdaddy. So, mm, mm, mm. yeah, <clears throat> I know that he was mad. a huge loss to him. He made, he and wasn't he the only child? The same time. That's wasn't he tough. the only child? I have no idea. This is so good, y'all. Oh my God, I can't I, believe it. I don't know nothing about him other than Metro Bowman wants some more on yeah, Exactly. That's, all, that's, all that's what I know, too. But he is, he is worth $20 million, y'all, so... Usually, you don't know the producers. Usually, huh? Yeah. I don't. I just, you know, I don't know if they're a producer if their name is in the I song. just like some girls. Like, girls like you don't pay attention to mm -mm. stuff like that. But some people are into that. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not offended. But don't say girls. Just say me. That's, that's why I say girls like um. you. Because there's other <laughs> girls like you. I would not be worried about that. I'd be worried about the, mm -hmm. the person who's singing it. You like a song and be uh, dancing to it and don't even know what the song's about, right? Right. Exactly. Girls because like of you. the beat. <laughs> because of the beat. Don't be. That's what uh, I'm doing. <laughs> You're not alone out there. Oh my God. Y'all, what is what's going on? Like, I don't even know the freaking latest. Like. Do you? <laughs> y'all. I don't know. I have been working on other things, y'all. I'm so sorry. Like, Get you got a guy robbed in that uh, smack competition for the 100000 That's all I know. What you saying? I'm doing that about that. <laughs> what is his name? Geechee got it. He a battle rapper from the West Coast. He was battling this up and coming Who? dude from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Geechee's uh -huh. a legend. You know, he was up there just. Like, it was just three flawless rounds, just heat, you know? Mm hmm It was a good battle with old boy, but he clearly won. But you go to the dark judges, so I guess was jealous of G uh, uh, Geechee for, you know, his success. Uh -huh. Oh, it's my opportunity to stick it to him. I couldn't beat him, so I'm going to go ahead and vote for this other guy. And you know what I'm saying? It was the biggest Dang. upset. Like, I'm still mad about that. I know nobody probably cares about that, but that's what's going on in my world. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't be watching that. Um... I mean, I have, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't pay attention to the word. It made me angry what I see and what I hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just stay clear. Preserve my vibes if I can.
Sauce. <clears throat> you want some of this cherry turnover? Absolutely not. It's good. It looks delicious. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh my god. Um, let me see what y'all talking about. Um, what? 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 Oh my God! Um, Domi, Domi the ruler, girl. I'm just not seeing your message, girl. Look. All right. Yeah. What you? What? Dad, why you had to say well, it like that? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to contact you back, girl. Anyway, yeah, y'all, I already opened up all the, um, y'all didn't even send me no stories. Well, I was going to be, this sound like a BG album, you know what I'm saying? Somebody died. What you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> what you know? Wall alert, somebody died. All these stories, you know what I'm saying? I wish I would start sending some uh, happy stories. If you find them, you probably ain't going to be able to find them. But, but guess you know, what I got? Some good, uplifting, positive stuff. You know, let some enlightenment so we can be become powerful. You know what I'm saying? Guess that type of stuff. Hold up. I have, um... Where is it? Mm. Here you go. Funny questions to ask. Ready? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the funniest joke you know by heart? <laughs> I don't know any jokes. I know I don't either. Um, what's the most ridiculous fact you know? I know you know some ridiculous facts. The most ridiculous fact. Uh, I know the speed of light is um, and I shouldn't know that, but <laughs> it's ridiculous to know the speed of light. I don't need to know Do that. Do you know it? Uh, yeah, I just I put it in a song one time. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. I can't think of it right now. But so I guess they don't really count. Mm -mm. The most ridiculous fact that you know. Yeah, I'm not like qualified. These these questions are outside of my culture. I think. I What's know. the weirdest smell you have ever smelled? Weirdest smell. Why are you not answering none of these? I am. Oh, I'm going you don't to. have answers either? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest smell. Weird. Weird smell. The weirdest smell I've ever smelled. Um, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to do that to him? <laughs> no, because it's not. It's not that big of a deal. When I was younger, <clears throat> um, Indian food to me used to smell like um, pancake syrup. That's the weirdest smell that I've ever smelled. I don't think that anymore, but when I was younger, I, I thought that it, all Indian food smelled like pancake syrup. That's weird. <laughs> Like what constitutes weird? What's weird? You know? And what what is the like what is something that smelled nasty to you? Or well whatever? that's nasty, but is that weird? Like the a uh, slaughterhouse is the nastiest it's You foul. smell a slaughterhouse yes, before? I've been Where? to a slaughterhouse in Louisiana. <clears throat> and I've, you know, been outside when a hog was slaughtered on uh, you know, my in the chicken yard or whatever, whatever was doing it in the hog area or whatever. My you great watched grandfather. It? No, I ain't watch it, but just go outside while it's going on, you know, and people cleaning guts over here, and they butchering the carcass over here, oh, and all God. of this, and it stinks so bad outside. Ugh. Mm. And they getting ready to cook it and eat it, and it just grosses me out. Like, I don't want none of you want. I don't want none of them pork chops. I want some pork chops out of the store, mm -hmm. out of a package. I don't want those. <laughs> pork chops out of a 
I didn't want. Oh, I didn't they not, was doing pig I didn't want nothing to do with with that with that freshly butchered animal with that stench that was going on. Mm. Uh uh. But they would be just tickled pink over it. Oh, you ate the whole burger. Yeah. So how was it? Was it was it a ten? Uh, honestly, I. You know, I ain't trying to be hating, but it, it wasn't nothing special. It didn't look like nothing special, y'all. Yeah, you know, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it wasn't special. I didn't understand all the people that was making videos about this on TikTok. They was talking about how good it was, and I'm like, it couldn't be. I think if I didn't put jalapenos on there, it might have been bland. I should have tasted the meat by itself. I should have. Oh my god. Um, what would be the absolute worst name you could give your child? Come on, bro. <laughs> Wait, what What's the worst come? name you could give your child? It's a question. I don't know. Just make something up, you know, Sean Quisha. Oh, my. I knew you was going to do that. I literally, I knew you was going to do that. Oh, my God. Um. Taekwondo. 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 How about is that worse? <laughs> That is ridiculous. I hope I'm not saying oh, somebody's that's what, name. That's, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want to name your child that. Okay, you wouldn't want to name your child that. Yeah, or name if I had a girl, uh, name her Toby. What? Yeah, that's what a uh, like. What? That's my mama told me. If I would have been a girl, she was gonna name me Toby. You like, lying? God, thank God, she, I'm not a girl for, for so many reasons. Yeah, she was for real. I was gonna be named Toby. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm -mm. <laughs> what what would be the worst thing for the government to make illegal? What would like be the worst thing? Collecting rainwater, I think. You know, like, this government is so wicked. Haven't they already did yeah. that in some places? Yeah, that's wicked right there. To collecting collect rainwater, rainwater you devil, They yeah. don't want us to have the natural stuff that come from Ain't the sky. The like, does it really come from the sky? Where does rain come from? Yeah, it come out the sky. Come but, on, man. From, from, the, from the clouds? It evaporates, yeah. Okay. It's a cycle. I, shut up. Don't what you mean uh, shut up? You're answering like you don't have a clue. No, I'm talking about... Okay, I'm going to take that out. No, you ain't taking <laughs> that out. That's quality entertainment. I meant from the cloud. Whatever, okay? <laughs> I know it comes from the clouds. Hey, isn't it like... Uh, what do you call it? Pre oh, you, precipitation? Oh, you use a big word to make it seem like you know what you're talking Preci about. Now, huh? <laughs> right. Isn't that what it's freaking called? Precipitation, yeah. So what makes it like rain really hard then? The more water that's in the clouds, the harder it's going to What rain. makes it get more water in the clouds? Uh, how heavier precipitation, depending on factors like heat, you know what I'm saying? Causes high evaporation, you get a whole lot mm -hmm. of, you know. Oh, you was listening in science class? <laughs> I mean, like you say, I'm smart, right? What? Any flipping way. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> anyway. Um... I cannot believe this is satisfying me. I'm getting full. I was, after we wow. ate yesterday, what? I didn't tell you. What? Like, my stomach was full. Mm hmm But sometime after we had ate, mm -hmm. I, like, I got this sick feeling in my stomach that I get, like, if I hadn't eaten and I need to eat, yeah. I got that sick feeling, but my stomach was full because I think it was because I needed some meat. <laughs> Didn't you know? Yeah, I think that's what it was. I had got really hungry, too. But, um. Yeah. And I ate a granola bar. I think that's fine, isn't it? I don't know, but I did. So whatever, it don't matter. I ate a granola bar because I got really, really hungry um, last night, actually. Mm -hmm. So you weren't the only one. I mean, fruits and vegetables are not very filling. You're supposed to, it, like, if you do that, you're supposed to, like, do it every, what, four to five hours? Eat fruits and vegetables? I don't know. You asking me like I mean, that's how, yeah. like, yeah, that's what you, anyway. And then if the food you're eating is majority water, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just running through you. Yeah. Your stomach getting full, but it ain't nothing but water. This is like drinking yeah. water getting full. You ain't getting no substance, really. I was on the toilet all day yesterday. Every five minutes, it seemed like. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was so mellow. This is really good. Wow. Beans are a substitute to me. For meat. Uh, yeah, meat. it's good because it's protein. It is. So good. Mmm. Mm, the chili was so good. Ugh. Yeah, he made chili. I was. Mm -hmm. mm. I put my foot in it too. It's so good. 
I want some so bad, y'all. Mm. Anyway. Oh, this is good. My God. Is it really? It really is. What, what's the name of that? What is that? Is that something that you just put raw stuff together? A raw vegan burrito bowl. Okay. Beans, carrots, cilantro. I didn't put carrots. Uh, I meant to say corn. Yeah. Mm. Y'all still drinking Kool Aid? Are you back on Kool Aid? They're bringing Kool Aid back. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, nobody's bringing Kool Aid back. I done been around the Nobody. block. I done did it all, and I got to come back. This is where it's at right here. And tell me why. Like, why would you like? You wanted to be so healthy, and then you just what's wrong with Kool Aid? Because I'm drinking. Because I know. I, but I'm all drinking. the snacks too. The ding dongs, the ho hos, <laughs> the uh, donuts. You know, I mean, sometimes people will like a snack. You know, sometimes you want just something sweet. You know, kids might want just a snack. You know, kids. Very unhealthy. Very. Very. Yeah, your mm -hmm. girl's not ever going to Kool Aid ever. Kool Aid is good. I can't do see, it because you can taste no, no, no. the heaviness. Like it ain't. It's only as heavy as you make it. You're in control of how much sugar is in it. Whereas you get these these juices, they still um. What? What is it? What? You got for high fructose is in a lot of those juices that seem to be healthy. There's high fructose corn syrup sweetening it, or it's sweetened with sugar. I could be buying my own sugar, mixing my own drink. And probably for a hell of a lot cheaper because the prices keep going up on a gallon of drink. Oh and I'm not playing this God. game with people for one gallon of drink. We're not going to do this. We used to pay 88 cents. We ain't doing it. We used to buy drink, right? Because <laughs> uh, I didn't Kool-Aid get too expensive or something? Something you know, happened where we started got, buying drink for 88 cents a gallon, y'all. We got tired of mixing it. The water, I remember it was the water. Oh, realizing the faucet that faucet water. water wasn't good no more. Were we... Oh, we were drinking that water yes. too. Oh right. God, it was the worst water. Then we realized we looked in the water one day. It was some black stuff floating. No, we looked in the Kool Aid. It was some black stuff floating yeah. in the Kool Aid. I'm like, I just made this Kool Aid. And we was drinking. And it then all I put up. some water from the faucet in the cup in the glass. Black stuff floating in it. We had been yeah. drinking it. Yeah, we had terrible water out there. Back in what 2011? Was yeah. it 2011? 2010 maybe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all that tap water is bad though all of it we went to bottled water and never went back yeah isn't that something but all of this you know people you know, all this four dollars and something for a, a gallon of drink y'all can go and sit down yeah you know, and three dollars and stuff for a gallon of drink i mean it's just ridiculous you know everything going up you know i was buying uh a, uh the um arizona that's mm -hmm. why i was getting in because they was like 279 it's damn near three dollars. They didn't creep up like three fifteen and all of this stuff, and mm. you know, just ah, uh, just y'all go ahead and chill. I'm gonna take it back to Kool Aid. It tastes better anyway. I can't do it. Mm. Done it. You ain't got no. You need to try what yeah. I'm doing. I'm trying to get uh, because I feel like this is way better. Cause I know that got yeah, red forty please. in it. You know those Kool Aid packets got red forty in it. What, what is this? Some science? It come out the. It's a flavoring. I'm out somebody's laboratory. I don't dig. I don't do laboratories. Let me let's read the ingredients on this. Where you think that Kool Aid powder? Let's read the ingredients. <laughs> Number one ingredient: water. Number two: malic acid. What is malic acid? I don't know, but what's in that powder? Okay, okay. So that's one don't thing we don't know. Don't let me go get a package. Citric acid. We know what that is. Contains less than 2% of natural flavor. What ingredients are in Kool-Aid? Water. Citric acid. Yeah, citric acid is like from uh, fruits. Potassium citrate. Gum arabic. Potassium citrate is in this too. <laughs> Gum arabic. Hold on. Sucralose. Yeah, you got gum arabic right here. You got sucralose acetate. 
isobutyrate. You got that? <laughs> is that in Kool-Aid? I don't think so. Yes, it is. It's right here. Red number 40. Yeah, you got red 42. You Potassium got, sorbate. You got blue one, too. You, it's got, the, it is the exact same shit. It's the exact it's same shit. It's the same shit as Kool-Aid. I'm done. Stop lying. <laughs> I, y'all see what's going on in this world? Oh Foolishness. Oh, my God. Just yeah. get you some Kool-Aid. The exact same ingredients. Wow. Sodium um, benzo, uh, benzoate. That shit is liquid Kool-Aid, bro. I don't have sodium um, benzoate. I don't think that's how you say it, but. Potassium sorbate. And all Whatever. Kool-Aid don't have red 40, uh, you know. Th- this is what this, it says. Uh, lemonade flavor yeah, don't say? have red 40. Lemon how, lime how do you don't know? have red 40. It got blue, blue, red. blue nine. <laughs> it got <laughs> something. Yes, it do. It's more than just red 40. Like, red they 40 have other the colors. Guy. They have yellow, um, whatever, you know. But red is the bad one. Is it? We looked it up and they said it wasn't. Remember? Who said it wasn't? Remember, we had looked it up and... um. We had Googled it, remember? No, I don't. I'm about to Google it right yeah, now. Yeah, then we found that it was like Listen. it was some type of petroleum base. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. But it wasn't what, what, e- what wicked, everybody was wicked, saying. Wicked. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <sighs> Boy, we got to go, y'all. I got to walk Bailey. I got some business I got to take care of. It's getting late. Oh, my God. Anyway, so. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> what? I'm hilarious. <laughs> what? What you what? I'm laughing at myself and somebody get you. Why that look good? Why you ain't eat your fries? I ate some of them. It was too many. What was this? A large? Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't eat no large. I asked you, I did know. you want a large? You know, y'all could just be. <sighs> now we know. Yeah, I want that dad on Chalupa from Taco. I was thinking about a Mexican pizza. It took everything in me not to leave last night. To go get one? And, and go to Taco Bell. I mean, Let's do Taco y'all, Bell tomorrow, I, I literally was going to go and get one. But I, so what, I'm going to fall off and then come back on? Yeah. You ain't really doing any anyway. You already yes, fell I off. Yes, I am. What are you, you talking about? You were supposed to be doing a water fast. You fell off of that onto this. No, I this said that week. I wanted to, to do this, and I'm doing it. Okay. I did it yesterday, and today is the second day. Yeah, take a day off. What is the week of this going to do anyway? We know the benefits of. I water already pass. lost. What is a week of this gonna do? I already lost two pounds. Really? Yeah. You lost two pounds in two days? <laughs> no, in one day. Remember, I started yesterday. And you sure that's not a, just an alteration? I don't know. Weighing yourself Honestly, in the morning because as opposed to weighing yourself at night. I don't know because remember when I told you I weighed myself and I was one ninety five? Yeah. Well, I never seen that number again. <laughs> It was that certain time of the day. I was like, "That's a certain time of the day when you weigh less than other times." Scale lying to me? <laughs> it was lying to me. I think it was lying, honestly, because I haven't seen one ninety five. Uh, yeah, since that day. Not nowhere close. <laughs> yeah, it was close, but still, like. Anyway, I think it's broken. I probably need to get another no, one. No, not broken. But why would it tell Maybe me that? Maybe it's then? fluid retention. I'm not. I'm not retaining any fluid anymore. I know? know when I'm retaining fluid because my ankles swell. I mean, maybe it's you know. And my arms swell and get. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe it's like, like massive tell. fluid retention. But if for it to fluctuate to be 195 and then like jump, maybe that was you know. I don't know well, I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. But I try to keep my fluid down. Cause my high self telling me that you know <laughs> fluid. Fluck is a reason for <laughs> high uh, frequent fluctuation in the rate is oh. fluid. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know if that's... Of course it's true. Well, I, it, probably, it might be true because I'm going through the... Um, what do you call it? Menopause thing. Or, I think I'm pre-menopausal. Y'all, am I too young for that? Or, or am I just the right age? <laughs> Let me know. I need to look that up. <clears throat> I think I am pre-menopausal, though. Anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My food was delicious. Do you recommend that burger for them to try? Um. Or no, or don't waste your money. Because from the looks of it, y'all. I mean, you know, it's. 
You ain't gonna you ain't missing nothing if you don't get it. I like to me Arby's just shines when you like these other sandwiches that be, you know, stacked up with all this yeah. kind of meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't look like nothing compared to like the, the it, new stuff yeah, that they used to come out it, with with all yeah. the meat stacked mm-hmm, up. Just stacked, uh-huh. yeah. And you just eating it and just mouthful of meat and you like, damn, how they get all this meat on here? How they making money with all this meat? Right. That's what I used to think. But those sandwiches were like fourteen dollars, you don't remember? Mm mm. Yeah. This was a decent patty though. It was like it was, you know, cooked nice on the outside and it was like had a lot of juice on the inside of the patty. Uh, you know, it was alright. What would you rate it out of 10? Because they're going to want to know. Some people go and try just because of what you said. So. Whataburger is way better. What do you rate the burger? I hate to give it a number. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, what was it? A five? It's, of- it's better than Wendy's and, and Burger King and, um, you know. And stuff like that, but we, how, how do you just, give? I can't give it a, a number. Nine I can't give it. Eight. I can't give it a number. I don't have to give it a. You know, um, you know, I'll get that Joker. Do I give it three stars out of five? Uh, no, we're doing ten. <laughs> we're doing ten. I don't want to do a ten. That's too Why? much. Why? Because I don't feel comfortable with the, with the ten scale. Oh my gosh! Uh, ridiculous. I don't even know. I don't. It's just listen. How can I tell you? Y'all, he, he's giving it a five, okay? It I, I don't like really want to give it a five neither. Yeah, you can think it's I'm saying it. a five, no, but I guess I give it a seven. It's looking like a five. It's seven. It's looking like a five. Six point nine. It's looking like a five. Anyway, y'all I, let us know in the comments. Have y'all tried it? What do y'all rate it? Did y'all think it was good? Let us know. Anyway, let me know. Hey, let me know if I should cheat tomorrow. One day. Yeah, tell us. Y'all want to see? Uh... Cause if y'all want me to cheat, I'm going to tear up some <laughs> toasted. What is it? Toasted cheddar chalupas. Oh, they so crunchy that they got that layer of cheese on the outside. Oh, they brought mm-hmm. them back. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, I can't wait till they bring back the uh, crunchy cantina tacos. I've been waiting for those for the longest. Taco Bell, we need those. Okay, this summer. Give them to the list. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. And we will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.